I had dabbled a little bit in radio. I was in Roswell, New Mexico, two years before the aliens arrived. I was there in the Roswell Army Airfield. And uh, mm. I'd signed up for the Army Air Corps to be a pre-aviation, an aviation cadet. And fortunately, they did not have the attrition they had expected during World War II, so I never got to go to flight school. But I volunteered to go to a liaison pilot school. These are the guys who fly the light planes and spot artillery. Didn't make that. If they'd come around and ask for suicide pilots, I would have volunteered for that. But I, I studied, uh, I went to school and studied radio operator mechanic school. Mm. And, but I also worked a little bit in the radio station in Roswell, and that gave me a taste for it. So when I dropped out of engineering, uh, I got a job in a radio station as a pronouncer. A pronouncer? Yes. I, I, in Roswell? No. Uh, I worked there as a volunteer a little bit in Roswell, mm -hmm. but this was back in my hometown in Virginia. And I'd never done this before, so the general manager of the station sent me out to the Thule's, a place called Covington, Virginia. And I worked there for six weeks until I found out how not to break up the equipment or what it was a pronouncer did. Then he gave me a job back in my hometown. Wasn't Roswell, if, what, what year were you in Roswell? 1945. That was the year you were in Roswell. Oh, pardon me, I was in Roswell in 1945. So there was a big blast happening nearby, yes. right? Yes, and uh, I was at Roswell Army uh, Air Corps Base the morning that went off at Alamogordo, and, the, and that was about 100 miles west of there. And there was a brand new toy in the, uh, all the, the uh, aircraft towers of the Western Flying Training Command called a PL, a private line. And so the operator picked up this telephone and it rang in Hobbs, New Mexico, that was west of that. And he said, did you have a plane crash? He said, no, it was west of here. Then he called Alma Gordo and they said, no, it was something that happened west of here. And at eight o'clock that morning, uh, a story came through on the teletype that said that an unmanned bomb depot had exploded, but Nobody was hurt, don't worry about it. And I remember it was July 16th because it was two weeks before my birthday. It was a month later that we heard about Hiroshima and Nagasaki and realized that uh, they had tested the atomic bomb at Alamogordo. 